super stock class. You've seen the scat back on the other side with the alcohol. Now you got the big boy with the big turbos and the big gun. Got a runner. Got a runner. Now, the flagman's got to walk up to him with the guy all the way out there about 400 foot and says, you want to keep that? They'll put the distance up on the big screen. How about a big round of applause for our John Deere boys? 3, 63, and 81. 3, 63, and 81. You don't like John Deere, John Deere's in the lead. The guy coming up behind him, there's a long story there. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. This guy's out for the gun. He's out for the run. He's out for the win. Chance encounter, the old style international sheet metal. How many of you are old style international people? You bet, a lot of you of you. Old style international, gonna to try to open deer season. You can tell he didn't have the forward momentum. You can tell he did not have the forward momentum, so he's not going to be close to that 363 and 81. Not going to be that close. Those of you down here to the right of the announcer stand going to get full effect of the smoke. Laser beam dialing in. John Deere coming to the line on the other side. We'll get this distance, see where the chance encounter comes in. We've always got a replay. You'll always see the replay up on the screen. I should have been watching the replay while I go on to John Deere, see if I could pick up on the shrapnel that hit the ground. 320 to get a little revenge, to get back some points. The end of the season is 30 days away. He's got room, but he's got to do it tonight to start. Intimidator. Well, he didn't get to 363, but I bet he got to 324. I'll wait for the official distance up on the screen. If we have time to run the replay, right there's the replay. Look at the smoke. Notice how the smoke went black, then went white, then went black, then went white. The motor never got a hold till all the way down here at the other end. He goes to second. He gains some points. Three, 28, 43. Go Let's see what's going to happen. Watch the smoke. That's what happens when you run out of the ether. I mean, that tractor is basically on drugs. But anyhow, brand new rig, ladies and gentlemen, still learning what it needs to do, what it's going to take to tweak it. Doug Messinger and a tractor called Scandal. How about a round of applause as he's over on that sideline? Not a good distance. And tomorrow, out of Waverly, Iowa, comes Mr. Tyler Buckman and the Born Green Machine. Just got it put back together from a couple of weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen. They have had a tremendous amount of problems.
And it's still not up to life. Still not up to life. Not at all. The rock sled, Gary Sabaka and the rock sled, pretty tough on them. Looks like there's something on the skid pan. Looks like there's something on the skid pan of the rock sled. Gary, Gary, I need, I need my official to stop. I need him to come up here. I need Sabaka to come up here. There's something on the sled. There's something on the sled. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Gary Sabaka out of Mount Air, Iowa, and today is his 60th birthday. 6,200 pounds, a big 30.8, 32 tires. Scott Hoku with the Voodoo Deer out of Atkins, Nebraska. Pass points champ. He'll be coming up here with a really glossy black John Deere. Used to pull in the Super Farm ranks, won the points championship there, won the Garrett Pup way back when Garrett Turbochargers was helping us out. Up on the leaderboard, ladies and gentlemen, there's